In the 8th episode of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about AMD which will introduce adaptive undervolting to precision boost overdrive for Ryzen 500 series CPUs, then we have some NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti leaked scores for both the Firestrike and TimeSpy benchmarks, the Radeon RX 6700 XT specs surface or got leaked, and finally Far Cry 6 will have DirectX 12 variable rate shading and fidelity FX among other things. We start with AMD and their latest news regarding the adaptive undervolting feature which will be brought to Precision Boost Overdrive for all Ryzen 500 series CPUs. This feature will be introduced within the Boost Overdrive software on an estimated date of early December and will be available for the 400 series and 500 series motherboards, although we do not know for sure if it's going to be for all motherboards using those chipsets or just the upper high end segment. This tool is advertised to be able to calculate the amount of voltage required for a task and then adjust the voltage of the CPU accordingly. This means that if you're just browsing the web, then your CPU will just automatically undervolt itself to lower the power draw and its temperature. The interesting thing about this tool is that it will be able to change the voltage based on the characteristics of the particular CPU it works with. This means that while each CPU will overclock and undervolt differently thanks to the quality of the silicon, this tool will take into account everything regarding your CPU and thus create a custom undervolting behavior to match the CPU itself. Unfortunately, this feature will not make it to all the Ryzen CPUs. AMD has stated that the adaptive undervolting will be implemented with the Ryzen 5000 series and onwards, while the older gen will most likely get nothing of the sort. We move on with the NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti, which has some leaked scores for the Firestrike and TimeSpy 3D Mark based benchmarks. And are these scores so important you might ask yourself, well, depends. If these are true, then it means that at least in these synthetic benchmarks, the upcoming RTX 3060 Ti is slightly better than the older, older in quotes, RTX 2080 Super. It is also important to keep in mind that if these scores are for real, then it means that the RTX 2080 Super is slower than a graphics card that is supposedly going to be priced at around or under 399 US dollars or euros, which makes the RTX 2080 Super lose in terms of the performance to a graphics card that is almost half its original price. However, this remains to be seen as this is just a leak and the pricing is most likely not going to be around 399. And we go back to AMD, which has more leaks ahead. As someone leaked what looks to be the technical specifications for the Radeon RX 6700 XT graphics card. This new model will have apparently upwards of 12 gigabytes of video memory and is based on the AMD Navi 22 architecture. In terms of the power consumption, this graphics card is apparently going to top out at around 220 watts, but should run on average around 30 watts lower. This means that if true, the RX 6700 XT will not only perform good, but also have a lower overall power consumption than its competition, at least within its price ranges. And when could we see these graphics cards? Well, nobody knows but AMD, but most likely it will be launched after the RTX 360 Ti models are officially launched and will hit the market. But it's not like it's going to matter anyway because the lack of stocks means that it will not be cheap or easy to buy if possible at all. And finally Far Cry 6. With its launch day delayed now being scheduled for release on May 25th 2021, Far Cry 6 will now make use of plenty of the new AMD features, such as the contrast adaptive sharpening, or CAS for short, and the variable rate shading, or VRS. This is all great news because it means that the game itself will make use of most if not all DirectX 12 features, including the optimizations. Well, the last part is my hope, but anyway. However, while everything here sounds nice and dandy, we have to think about how taxing all these features will be on your system, especially if the optimization is not up to par with what we can expect from the market. And by that I mean if some particular game is well optimized, and of course I'm talking about Cyberpunk 2077. If that's the case, then Far Cry 6 being released with these features but with incredibly high demands from your system will mean quite the disappointment. Also, if these features will decrease the overall performance of the game when activated, then it will be a downright failure. Not only because it will mean that these features were not optimized at all, but also because the game itself is more or less made in close collaboration with AMD. 
and we all know how that is going to end up, be it AMD or Nvidia working with the game developer. And this is the end of the 8th episode of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news sources which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.